Yeah, did you find that, uh, did you find that thing? You didn't. So then what am I, what am I gonna do? Hang on. Hey, hang on, what's, are we going? I gotta, I gotta call you back. Hang on one second. I can't believe we're going right now. I'm not even ready for this. I thought we agreed to do this later. You guys are already here. I'm not even, not even dressed for this or any, anything, you know? I, hang on one second. Hey, hang on one second. What's up guys? Welcome back to the Mod Lab. Just want to give a huge shout out to all the subscribers. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. All right guys, so for today, what we'll be doing is we're going to be doing a valve spring upgrade to our LS motor that we have. What's on the heads right now is a single valve spring, just this factory stock one. And we're going to be upgrading to a dual valve spring, which this kit that we have here today is from Brian Tooley Racing. Shout out them. Also on the kit, you get new valve guides as well. That was... Now this is the valve spring tool that I'm gonna be using today. It's not really uh, your most common one, I guess you could say, but it does the job. Uh, so basically what, I, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm just gonna compress the spring down with this tool, take off the valve guides, and then uncompress the spring, and then the valve spring will be able to come right off. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this tool and I'll use this to take off the old valve seal. And there you have it, that's how you remove the factory spring. BTR, they recommend that you put some sort of um, lube on the valve stem before you put the new valve seals on to help them go down. So I have some engine assembly lube and I'm just gonna put a little bit on there just to kind of help them. All right guys, so now how you put this kit together is you got this bottom retainer that goes on first. And then you got your valve seal. Brian Tooley Racing, they actually make a valve seal installer for their um, valve seals. And how you install them is Put the valve seal on, on the stem, put this on, you thread this into the rocker arm hole. When you take either an extension or whatever you got and then you push this down until it bottoms out and that 
is how you install the valve seal. All right, so I'm now going to install the valve springs with the cylinder head still on the engine. What's up guys? Today's a new day. We uh, we finished up this one side, um, but we decided to order a new valve spring compressor tool just because the one that we were using wasn't really the best one that you could get. So we ordered a new one, got it off of Amazon. This one is already way better, I can tell. With this one, you basically just bolt it to the head where the rocker arms would be and then you would have a bolt come through the bottom of here up and you have this nut that you would tighten down which would then compress both springs and as you can already tell already has them compressed enough just to take the keepers off and uh, we barely even have this compressed already so uh it, this one's way better hey what are you doing i don't know why you haven't hit that subscribe button yet There you guys have it. With the right tool, this job is a lot easier. We were originally using the kind of makeup tool that we made or bought somewhere. I don't even know where it came from, to be honest. But we got a good one off of Amazon. I think it was like 23, 24 bucks. This works a lot easier. As you saw, you just bolt this down and then this, you just tighten this down and that compresses the, the valve springs. But guys, that's gonna end it for today. Make sure you like, share, and I don't know what you guys are waiting on, but make sure you hit that subscribe button because we got a ton of stuff going on and you're missing out if you haven't yet. Peace.